The Secret of Precision, How the B-24 Liberator's Autopilot Changed World War II Bombing The B-24 Liberator's autopilot system, one of the lesser known but vital components of World War II aviation. Using a gyroscopic mechanism, the Sperry C-1 autopilot allowed the bombardier to focus entirely on targeting while the aircraft flew itself to the perfect bombing position. This technology revolutionized precision bombing, helping to guide missions and save countless lives. In the skies over Europe during World War II, a bomber with a distinct roar flew into combat. The B-24 Liberator, one of the most iconic aircraft of the war, was a symbol of American industrial power. But hidden within this vast war machine was a technological marvel, the Sperry C-1 autopilot system. Designed to stabilize the aircraft and improve bombing accuracy, this system would become an essential part of the B-24's success in the war. 1. The Gyroscopic Precision of the Sperry C-1 Autopilot The Sperry C-1 Autopilot system was revolutionary for its time. At its core was a gyroscope, a device that could detect changes in the aircraft's movement and make adjustments to keep it stable. When the plane deviated in pitch, roll, or yaw, the gyroscope would send signals to the plane's control surfaces, the ailerons, elevators, and rudder, making small but critical adjustments to return the plane to its intended course. This mechanism helped maintain the B-24's flight path, even in the face of turbulence, enemy fire, or the vast distances the bomber was traveling. The gyroscope was the silent partner in every bombing run, ensuring that the B-24 stayed on course, offering stability that was critical during the bomb release. The system's ability to make minute adjustments meant that even high-speed, high-altitude bombing runs could be carried out with remarkable precision. 2. How the autopilot worked with the Norden bombsite One of the most important tasks for the crew of AB-24 was the bombing run. Bombardiers needed to make split-second decisions about when and where to release their bombs, often while flying at altitudes of 20,000 feet or higher. The Norden bombsite was the tool used to target precise locations on the ground. But for the bombsite to work effectively, the aircraft had to be as stable as possible, and this is where the Sperry C-1 autopilot came in. By allowing the autopilot to fly the aircraft during the bombing run, the bombardier could focus entirely on the targeting system. The autopilot would fly the bomber straight and level, following the desired path set by the bombardier's input. This handoff of control ensured that the aircraft's flight was smooth and uninterrupted, which was critical for accuracy. During the final moments of a bombing run, when the target was locked in the Norden sights, the autopilot would keep the plane steady as the bombardier calculated the precise moment to release the bombs. Without the stabilizing influence of the autopilot, it would have been nearly impossible to achieve such accuracy at the high speeds and altitudes required for strategic bombing. 3. The Role of the Flight Engineer in Autopilot Operation The flight engineer, a vital member of the B-24 crew, played an important role in managing the autopilot system. While the autopilot relieved some of the pressure on the pilots during the bombing run, it wasn't a flawless system. It required constant monitoring and occasional adjustments to keep the plane on track. If the autopilot became miscalibrated, an event that wasn't uncommon, the flight engineer might have to crawl through the cramped bomb bay to manually adjust the system. This dangerous task was performed at high altitudes, often in freezing temperatures, while the aircraft was still flying through enemy fire. The autopilot system was an invaluable asset, but it wasn't infallible, and it relied on the skill and vigilance of the crew to ensure its effectiveness. 4. Improved Bombing Accuracy at High Altitudes One of the most significant advantages the B-24's autopilot provided was its ability to maintain a steady course at high altitudes. Precision bombing at such altitudes was a challenging task, especially when enemy aircraft were in pursuit or the air was turbulent. The autopilot system helped to mitigate these issues, offering stability that allowed bombardiers to focus on their target. The gyroscopic system helped reduce the effects of wind gusts, turbulence, and enemy fire, which could easily throw the bomber off course. With the autopilot maintaining a stable flight path, Bombardiers could drop their bombs more accurately, making the B-24 an effective weapon in strategic bombing campaigns. 5. The Trust Between Crew and Technology While the autopilot system was designed to improve bombing accuracy and stabilize flight, it was still a new technology in its time, and many crew members were initially wary of relying on it. The trust between the flight crew and the autopilot system had to be earned. 
pilots had to allow the autopilot to take control during bombing runs, which felt unnatural at first. However, over time, they grew to trust the system. It became a vital tool in their arsenal, helping them complete long, grueling missions. The role of the autopilot in B-24 missions was not just about technology, it was about trust in the system to do its job so the crew could focus on theirs. 6. Legacy of the Sperry C-1 Autopilot The Sperry C-1 Autopilot system was a groundbreaking technology that would go on to influence the future of aviation. The system's ability to stabilize aircraft during long flights and bombing runs marked a turning point in the development of autopilot technology. Its use in the B-24 was a key factor in the success of many missions during World War II. In the years following the war, autopilot systems became standard in most modern aircraft, but the Sperry C-1 remains a milestone in aviation history. The B-24, with its innovative technology and skilled crew, became an enduring symbol of the Allied effort in World War II, with the autopilot system playing a key role in its success. The B-24 Liberator's autopilot system, though relatively simple by today's standards, was revolutionary for its time. By stabilizing the aircraft during critical bombing runs and allowing the bombardier to focus on his task, the Sperry C-1 autopilot system played an essential role in the success of the Allied bombing campaigns. It was an example of the kind of ingenuity that helped turn the tide of war, and its legacy lives on in modern aviation technology.